Dress for success. Their mission is pretty powerful and their goal is pretty important to help women thrive in work and in life. So how do they do that? What advice do they have for you watching at home this morning? Well, Cherie Williams is their program administrator and she is here to tell us good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. I love that you're here this morning. I love what Dress for Success. I love the mission and what you guys are doing for communities really nationwide. Right. But talk a little bit about in the Tampa area what you guys are able to do for women and, to, and again to really help them thrive both at work and at home. Correct. So uh, the Tampa Bay location has been around for 18 years. So oh, we're celebrating yeah. 18 years and we help women really try to strive for self-sufficiency, you know, economic independence. And mm -hmm. we do that by providing free attire. So that's what people know us for, providing free professional attire for interviews, their new job. But at the same time, we provide pre-employment services like interview prep and also job retention programs. So we're really excited that we can provide more than just clothing. And I think that's because you hear Dress for Success, and I think a lot of people do know what you guys do and help you know women feel confident by what right. they're wearing, but it goes so much more beyond that. Right. So what are the other things that you guys are able to do for people you know who are watching and for people who use your services? Right, so we discovered that when women came to us and were suited, they were job ready, but they weren't interview ready. <laughs> yes, and there is a right. huge difference. Right, interviewing and, and searching for jobs have really changed in the past few, uh, few years due to technology advancement. So, and, and our competition is, I mean, fierce right now. Right, so it's really important that not only do they feel good about the way they look, but they really are aware of what the next step is mm -hmm. for the interview process. So we do have first impressions, which is our interview prep session that happens the same day that they get their clothing. Oh, so wow. we feed on their okay. confidence that they just found after they try on a suit. And then we talk about, you know, the do's and the don'ts to prepare for the interview. Do you have any do's or don'ts that you can share for us this morning? Yes. Um, again, I know a lot of people looking for summer jobs, so maybe someone is at home watching this morning getting right. ready to go to the interview. Great. Um, so one of the things that you want to think about when you're preparing for a job um, or prior to the job interview is to get the interview. So it's usually the resume that has some issues. Um, sometimes it's very dated. Um, people won't update their resume for each job. So you really wanna look at the job description. Make sure you have special keywords and you'll find those in the qualification section, okay. the requirements of the job description, and make sure that your, uh, your resume is up to date with those keywords. It's important to have the keywords because a lot of HR managers are using software to scan the resume and they're looking for certain keywords. Um, it's a little tricky because you never know what they are. It could be anything like team But I like leader. you say, like looking at that job description, right. put some of those in there. Right. I think that's a, a great piece of advice. And, and lets you know that if you're not changing your resume, then you might be holding yourself back. Yeah. Well, let's get to clothing because you've brought yes. some great examples this morning. This is another thing. I know, again, it's not all focused about the clothes, you know, what you do, but it mm -hmm. is such a big, you know, important part of the, the puzzle when you are trying to get that job. Right. Here in Florida, we sometimes have a little different rules though. It gets hot in the summertime. The last thing we want to do is being wear, you know, wear heavy suits. So this is a great example that you brought here that we're looking at. Right, so this here, it's a dress, which is great. It's breathable. Mm -hmm. And then you have a lighter blazer. And even though the blazer is your typical long sleeve blazer, you can roll the sleeves up and make it quarter length. And brighter colors always help with the, the hot sun beaming on you mm -hmm. as you're trying to get to and fro to your interview. Yep, all right, and then our second one too, I love this that it's short sleeve, right. but it still has the professional look of a suit jacket. Right, short sleeve suits do exist, you know, and, and it's great because you can add color and you add a little accessory and you still look professional. All right, and then the, the last one that you have here, still same kind of thing where it's a shorter right. sleeve suit, still very professional, but cool in right. the summertime Lightweight, here in Florida. Lightweight, a bright color to reflect off the sun, and again, a nice accessory to top it off. And keeping it simple is always more. Are suits still good to wear? I mean, for for interviews, and I mean, it is. I feel like the trend is is it depends. not as heavy suiting. Yeah, anymore, it really depends on the industry. Okay. It depends. So if you're in graphic design, sometimes it's not yeah. necess necessary, okay. but a lot of professional jobs still ask. Before for. we let you go, I want to get to this power walk that you yes, guys have coming up. You want to let people know about right. If you're interested in supporting Dress for Success, an easy and fun way to yeah. do so is to attend our fifth annual power walk. It's indoors and it's at the Thank Citrus. You. Park, right. <laughs> we just talked about the heat, so it's yes. indoors, and it's at the um, Westfield Citrus Park Mall. Mm -hmm. And if you want to register, it's so fun. You can have a group of friends. It's good for the whole family. You can bring your baby in your strollers, and you, 
can just visit the crowdrise.com forward slash Tampa Bay Power Walk and register. Yep, awesome. Sheree, thank you so much again thank for all that you do here me. in the Bay Area. Thank you for being on the show this morning. And you're going to come back with more great tips, I yes, think, I'd love the to. weeks and months ahead. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank we look you. forward to seeing you again soon.